Good day, fellas. I hope you're well. I want to talk about a point today that many people don't really understand is needed, especially your younger years. And I've met a few guys recently who are over the age of 30, 35, who missed out on the opportunity to express themselves when they were younger. And now they're in situations now where they feel trapped because they don't know how to express. They don't know how to talk. They don't know how to exude how they feel because they never learned how to. They never got to the bottom of it. And... If you don't express, you will implode. Now, what does it mean to express? It means to talk about how you feel. It doesn't mean to go out and just fucking be angry and just throw everything about. It means every single man needs a channel of another man to have a conversation with. A deep conversation with. We all need it at some stage or another. Um, There's only so much that friends can do. There's only so much that family can do. Um, Whenever you begin to start veering off on your own trailblazing and whatever the hell you're trailblazing in... I don't know if it's subconscious or whatever the fuck it is, but there's something within you that will make those around you not as valuable to listen to for advice. Happens to some people, doesn't happen for others. It's because whenever you break free from society and stuff like this, not that society is completely bad, but you want to dig a bit deeper. There's a f- couple men that can help you with this. They're usually men that have been in mental positions that you're currently in. There's somebody trailblazing their own path. Or there's somebody just completely outside of your circle, but you can fight with. So I like to look at it from the approach of whenever you're fighting someone, or if you want to get stronger, fight someone who can beat you up. If you want to get bigger, go to the gym with someone who lifts more than you. Therefore, if you want to get sharper, go to someone who can think better than you. Um, so when it comes to expression, obviously you can sit there and... You don't know if you're expressing right, you're bottling everything up, you're not too sure because you don't even know where to fucking start. Um, I was like this previously before in the past. I didn't know how to express, didn't know how to talk, didn't know how to get it out there until I then began to study psychology and I started studying spirituality and I started studying philosophy. So that began to open the doorway. I found a deep interest in Jordan Peterson breaking down the significance of the biblical stories, which was pretty interesting. And it just got me into the psychology world and made me realize, fuck, okay, there's a lot of depth here I have not yet explored. Now you can go down them doors, you can go down, you could spend your whole life researching that, but the point I want to get out here is you want to do so much consuming in the regards of the psychological, of the how do I express, of the what is the best way to express, and then you want to express. Because you can study all freaking day long, here's what's the best way to do this, and the best way, and the best way, and the best way, and you could do this, and if you did it like that, then listen to this podcast, 4,848 fucking two hours of listening to podcasts, but there's the expression. There is the expression. The expression is needed. This, what I'm doing now, is expression. Creativity is expression. Art is expression. And yet it is all, it is admired by everybody because it is beautiful, because it's raw, it's human, it's organic, and it is original. So, you, fellas, I want to let you know that I know what it is like to be in situations where you can't express, or you do not know where to fucking go. And the first place to go is within. Okay? Um, It is to go within. And to go over a couple things. Uh, first of all, realize that although you have your shit in your head, nobody cares. Now, that might be tough to hear for the first time, but it might even sound pessimistic, but it's not. Nobody cares is a beautiful thing to understand because nobody's ever going to deal with your bullshit because they're dealing with their bullshit. Okay, so that needs to be refreshing to understand because it means you go, right, so mine, your, your bullshit is quite unique. Trust me, like, and I know it's like, don't get rid of it. Like, I shouldn't have my bullshit. It's very unique and it's very beautiful because it can actually open the doors to help you get to the next step of where you should be in your career, in your mission, in your relationship, in your friendships. Um, so you got to listen to yourself, first of all, to first of all, admit that you're not expressing the way you would like to. Maybe you're interested in women, right? That's a very easy one to explain. But you don't like opening up about it in front of your friends because you'll just get laughed at. Or you want to pursue a certain career. You want, to, you want to pursue an interest or a hobby, but you don't want to tell people because you might get laughed at. So, in these cases, like, I can tell you one about mine. I was interested in the girl whenever I was 20. And it was... I would have went back to all my friends and maybe said the sort of shit, oh, yo, fuck up, oh, yo, she's a bitch, oh, you shouldn't... Just, like, lad banter, which was completely irrelevant. And I was, like... I was so used to it, though, because that's just what everybody did. There was no depth. It was just... 
la banter. Ha ha ha, yeah, bitch. Oh, 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 have fun. Oh, 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 oh. But then, I was at a bar with one of my good best friends now, and because of this night, and he's my friend's cousin, and we went out, we were having drinks, chatting shit, I was like, yo, you've got a, you've got a good mind, do you, mind, do you want to go for a swim tomorrow, we'll go chat some stuff, I was like, yeah, let's go chat, I went and chatted to him, and I had, this This meant a lot to me at the time, because I wanted to really understand, I was like, Jesus Christ, I fucking really like this girl, this could be something, actually did end up being something, so there you go, Um. I was like, I don't know how to express this, I don't know how to communicate this, and anybody I talk to, I just get feedback, like it's, I'm just throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks, and it never does. So I, I explained my mind to him, where I was thinking, where I was coming from, what was going on, and he replied. Whoa, Alex, what did he actually reply? No, 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 he listened where I was coming from. He listened to where I wanted to go, and he was trying to understand what I was actually saying. Most people don't fucking do that. And this is my point about men need expression. Especially whenever you're younger. By the way, that led to absolute amazing relationship. Me and him are fucking good friends and stuff like that. Because that's what is needed, especially when you're younger. Whenever you have something that you want to do or know, and you don't explore or express to understand, you will implode. You will implode in some way because you're holding yourself back. You're resisting yourself. You're not being true to yourself. You're not expressing yourself. Like I went on a line there to express myself and be like, the guy I don't even really know, here is something I want to get to the bottom of. That takes balls. That takes courage, especially when you're not used to it, especially whenever you're used to getting a through back in your face. So my run for you is always seek expression. And I'm not saying seek to be a bitch. I'm not saying cry under your pillow and cry to everybody and let them all know. I'm saying... Be original and be authentic. Become Inspector Gadget and very curious about your own shit. If it's something you feel and you want to get to the bottom of, become curious. Understand. Now realize, the majority of people don't care. Some do. Some want to listen. Some can really understand. But the majority, in my opinion, cannot. They can give you um, tried advice. They can tell you to get over things. But rare individuals will actually listen. However, they are out there. And I would always advise every single one of you to find one. To literally find one. In some manner, same with the fighting thing. They're probably thinking smarter than you. They're probably ahead of you in some domain. They've probably experienced what you've experienced. Now, obviously, be a sound guy. Don't just go and unload on them. And be like, here's my issues. It's like, have a bit of camaraderie. Have a bit of friendship. Have a bit of back and forth. Get to know the person as well. But then inevitably, get to the bottom of things. If they're a good person and you're being authentic and you're not actually doing it just to get an ulterior motive and you actually want to get to the bottom of things, they'll help you get to the bottom of things. They are out there. So, don't hold yourself back. Don't think you're crazy. Don't alienate yourself because you have these things in your head. Um, you want to healthily integrate them into your life or they could become a part of your shadow. Like God knows if I never was able to have that conversation with him about women at that stage, I'd probably still be chasing many. Um, or just chasing impulsive desires or chasing all these things because I never really understood why I was chasing in the first place. So that... Help me go down that galleyway. Um, but yeah, expression. I write. Writing's very helpful. Reading, very helpful. Because reading is stories. I always say this, reading story, you're reading stories and the way you talk to yourself is like a story. So if you don't have anybody around you to express to, write, read. Whenever you find someone, chat. Go for a few drinks. See if you see someone, chat. Put yourself in the scene to be chatting to people like that. But honestly... Just never hold yourself back. Self-resistance and self-denial is poisonous, especially in many young men. Everybody, it's not many young men. It's poisonous in everyone. But the issue with young men doing it, why I speak to you specifically, fellas, is because you, that's what carries your baggage into your 30s and 40s and 50s. That's what makes you just hide behind the counters and hide behind yourself because you've never confronted yourself. And I was explaining this to somebody the other day. It is so honourable and so courageous to step up to yourself that first couple of times because your whole life you're told what to do. Your whole People love telling you what to do, mate. Religions, teachers, parents, societies, governments, the whole fucking thing. They love telling you what to do. Oh, you got to do it like this. Oh, you should do it like that. You should join. You should do this. And you should 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 and you should. Um, and over time, your mind becomes accustomed to being told what to do so whenever you actually want to stand up to your mind and tell it what to do there's a conflict why because your mind's so used to being told what to do and then telling you what to do 
So I think this is pretty interesting. And again, this is why I think expression is needed because we all have a mind, every single one of us, and it is conditioned and programmed very differently, but also similarly. And um, we all have similar webs, but we can all untangle them in a similar way and in similar ways. But none of it can be in, untangled if there's no expression. Things need talked about. If you think deeply, if you think abstractly, if you think out there, it needs expressed. It does. It needs talked about with somebody like a trusted person or somebody who actually would listen to you um, because you could just drive yourself mad. The thing is, though, you're not mad. You're not mad at all. Everybody's mad, though, but you're not mad. The whole point of this was to don't resist who you are ever, mate. Ever. Don't fucking do that shit. Ever. Don't care. Don't care. See this whole pull yourself up by this bootstraps and try to look cool. Mm, look at me. Ooh, look at me. Bullshit. Absolutely bullshit. The strongest men I know, the best men I know, are the most expressive people ever. If there's an issue, they will target straight away. Don't like that. They're vulnerable. They're open. They don't... Even me. If something gets under my nerves, now, I will address that straight away. Now, I'm not a bitch about it. I just know who I am now because I've allowed myself to express who I am. I've allowed myself to get to the stage where I know what I like and what I don't and where I want to go and where I do not. So if there's somebody in my life that is not appreciating or respecting me, I can quickly straight away and say no. Previously beforehand, I couldn't do that because there was no solid core. So the expression in yourself as well is the beginning of that solid core. It's that ironclad core. Trust me. Nothing is as strength developing in your life than going for the things you want and getting it through back in your face it's not that the thing when it's through back in your face is over or that's it it's giving you a hint of a lesson of who you are women careers passions friends conversations rejection whatever th owning your own opinions and belief and throwing it out there to get it tested and threw back at you you're i like to see it as if you're shit testing yourself for the you you want to become it all comes through expression. Because without, if you do not express, you will implode. So yes, find a way to express in some way that is incredibly healthy. Do not be an impulsive expressor. You want to express from the spirit. You want to have the idea of, okay, well, where is this going to bring me? What do I want out of this? Where do I actually want to go? How is this going to be better for me by doing this? Not like a, not like a nut job, me. Not like a, you just want to get it off your back. You want to, I just want to complain and I want you to be a part of my site. No, no. That's all impulse. Impulse is gay. Impulse is just stupid. You want to always have it in the back of your mind. Like, you're doing this because you know deep down if you don't get over this with somebody who's going to pay attention to you and listen to you and respect you, it's just going to fester deep down within you. So if it is deep, if it is yours, if it is personal, if it is dark, be healthy about it. Be rational about it. Be logical about it. Be a man about it. Don't run away. Don't cry like a bitch. Don't hide from it. Do not avoid it. Do not complain about it. If it is quite evidently getting to you address it healthily with a trusted mind with a page and a pen with a book go for it but whatever you do fellas do not hold yourself back do not hold anything back do not vomit it out either but do not hold it back be wise be smart be strategic about this this is your life this is your mind and you have no idea what the fuck goes down within that thing it is deep it does get deep it gets daunting do not get me wrong it gets dark um, so be wise, be expressive and then one day you'll be able to wake up and go Jesus, I've got control of this thing I know what's going on because you've allowed yourself to express you've allowed yourself full expression full ev with every expression comes a new understanding of who you are relationships, friends, careers, passion because you're seeing yourself and you're seeing your mind in different scenarios as I always like to say you don't really experience life you experience yourself through life what does that mean? it means Yes, you experience the relationship. Yes, you experience the friend. Yes, you experience the heartbreak. Yes, you experience all these things, the career, the money, whatever. You don't, though. You experience yourself with it. You experience yourself in the possession, in the mentality of having or not having. So, again, as I like to view everything when it comes to the mental world, and this is why expression is incredibly useful, I like to see the mind as if it's just one big house with, like, a billion rooms, and every time you're trying something new, it is like entering a new room. It does feel dark, because you've been in the other room, it has a light on the whole time. You were sitting beside the window, you knew what was going on. But every time you're expressing differently, authentically, truly, you're going through the archives of the house. 
you're going th- you're putting the lights on all these rooms that you haven't looked at by trying new things out by expressing differently by talking differently by maneuvering differently but it's all coming from within you're being authentic you're being so original and so authentic which is why it can be daunting do not get me wrong expression is very rare i would say pure and authentic expression is very rare today because again pardon me and i'm not digging you we're all in the same galleyways whenever we're like, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I, how do I, how do I? We go online, we look up, how should I? How could you? How do you? We're taking ourselves away from our own personal experience of life. Your life is your experience. So my point of all this is, I want you to really express and understand your experience because it's yours. It's authentic. It's, you are literally writing a book as you move through the world and it's the first book. It's the only book that will be wrote the way you're writing it. So you want to look at it like some form of an artistic play, as I believe. I think looking at your life as like art is amazing. Because when you see it as art, you see it, it's less pressurizing. There's no there's no real end in art. There's no real point to it apart from expression. And the more you can begin to work and appreciate the tools that you're working with, which is your mind, which is the darker parts of your mind, which is the lighter parts of your mind, which is your desires, your fears, your intentions. And you can begin to craft and draw this beautiful piece which is you through expression which no one can really manufacture and if someone tells you how to express it's kind of fake although it sounds good and well intended sometimes it can be fake because who the fuck can tell me to be me apart from me who can tell you to be you apart from you and that's my point here but let's be rationally you because i understand there's sometimes you're just like get me out of this fucking head his head's crazy in mine, but I don't fucking like it in here. It's nuts. There are actually good times to get to know your head, because it's your head, and it's your nuts. Um, but again, I always learn more about myself when I go up against someone who's more nuts than I am. Who's seen more madness. Who's been to more craziness. Who's just nuts. Intellectually wise, but also a fool kind of a nut job but a dude they're my friends like the wizard nut job fool yeah alcoholic um you know who you are my friends are wizards the guys i connect with wizards also fools wizards though because they go deep and then they play with it on it they go deep then they play with it and there's something really refreshing about it. And the thing is, not all of you are going to want friends like I want. Oh, my friends. <laughs> you wouldn't all want to be friends with me. But the thing is, you, wherever you are in your specific like area of life, you do want to go up against someone who is ahead of you. Because they're able to see where you are. And you're able to see in them. You are both able to see each other. And you're like, oh, fuck. Okay, that's weird. Like, okay. I was there. I want to be there. Okay. And you can help extract each other out of each other, which is pretty useful for your expression as a man. I just don't want you getting older and like hiding yourself and resisting yourself and denying yourself because if you deny yourself in one area that you love, it will corrupt other areas because it creates excuses in other areas of your life. Like if you're a bitch in your work, you'll be a bitch in your relationships. If you're a bitch in your relationships, you'll be a bitch in your health. If you're a bitch in your health, you're just a bitch everywhere. So how you do one thing is how you do everything. I have noticed this so, so precisely in my life. And if you hide from things, you'll hide from other things. But if you're confident and courageous and you want to go out and express things, you'll do that everywhere else as well. Again, the intention all comes from within. And where is the intention coming from? Where and how you express. So understand yourself. Begin to respect yourself by expressing yourself healthily. Everything's healthy here. No fucking impulse expression. No You've got emotions. They are yours. Um, They need understood. Some of them can be confusing. I completely respect that. But you find someone who's just been a bit ahead of you or who's willing to listen to you, or just allow yourself to be vulnerable enough to actually get to know them by leaning into them. And you'll be great. Just don't ever, ever resist yourself. Ever. If something's getting under your skin, it's going to get deeper under your skin until you understand why it is under your skin. Don't have to react. Respond. Respond to life. Respond to you. And you'll be good. Express. Namaste, fellas. Talk soon. Comment if you want anything, by the way. I enjoy this. Comment if you want me to talk about anything. Not my step for another day.